What's up team, so good to see you as always. And if you are new to the family, you are welcome. Put your aprons on, we are cooking from our book. The links if you wanna check it out are downstairs in the description box. John, what are we cooking today? Today we are making quick steak tacos, possibly along with Indian food, one of my favorite things to eat on this planet. Let's do it. So the reason we have picked this recipe is because it is super, super easy and tastes amazing. Like it, it takes about 10 minutes as well. Well, this is it. We want nice and healthy, quick and easy to make food because it's hard enough for people to be healthy as it is anyway. That's why yes. they go for junk food. Exactly so if we that. can make healthy food easy, then we are doing our job and life is good. I am gonna start on a steak. I'm gonna be slicing it up, marinating it, putting it on the griddle. In the meantime, Leon is gonna be working on the guacamole. You ready? Yeah. So don't panic too much, guys. If you're not sure on quantities, take a look in the description box. Everything you need to know is down there, labeled, beautiful, ready to go. So I'm gonna make the guac. The only thing that I'm not using is the coriander. I because love coriander. I hate coriander. It's a soap thing. Yeah, it's a genetic thing. Like if it you is. just like coriander, it tastes like soap to you, right? Yeah, so everything else in the book is accurate on that, apart from the fact that I'm not using coriander. I so let's it. get mixing. One tip, if you've got a garlic crusher at home, use that instead of trying to chop it up. It'll make it a lot finer and it'll make the job a hell of a lot easier for you. But I'm gonna crack on with the, the guacamole. So I'm gonna do my best impression of a chopping. Before I put the lime in, we've got two chopped, beautifully finely, spring onions going in there as well, which already make this whole dish smell amazing. And then one green pepper, de-seeded and chopped just as finely. And already, God, it smells amazing, it smells so fresh, I love that. Right, so, last thing to do, roll your lime before you cut it in half, you'll get a hell of a lot more juice out of it as well. Roll on it down and one full lime juiced. Cut it in half, squeeze her out, going in from a distance so John can get that sumptuous shot. Fork, you're gonna press the avocado down. Don't press too hard because the first time you press it's gonna jump straight out of the bowl. Mix it all in and just work it down into a paste. Right, the steak is coming off and while that is resting for four to five minutes, I'm gonna put some tortillas in a pan and let them warm because that is the finishing touch. Did you burn yourself a little there, mate? <laughs> All you gotta do, don't be shy. Get yourself some slivers of steak. Everyone, you want more than that, don't you? Yeah. Some steak in there and then a sliver of guac all the way down. If you're watching your fats, don't have the guac, but I couldn't care less. Roll away, it's all yours. Thanks, buddy. So if you were any normal human being like Leon, you'd definitely have coriander on this, but. Yeah. So if you've got the book, it's page 98, two to 300 calories per taco or tortilla. John's eating the whole thing yeah. already because I've messed my words up a million times. But anyway, give it a bash, get cooking 10 to 15 minutes. Doesn't take long, John. It's really well balanced as well, obviously. You've got your fats in there, you've got protein, you've got some carbs, about 13 grams on these tiny little tortillas, something yeah. like that. Winning. Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe. If you're loving the cooking, give it a massive thumbs up and we'll be back same time, same place next week. Love you all and goodbye.